And then once approved, 35,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine expected to arrive at Oregon hospitals as soon as this weekend. So Queen 6 wants to know what it means for your family and just how soon you'll be able to receive the vaccine. We go now to our Jenny Young, who's been working to get answers to that question tonight. And Jenny, what have you learned? Well, Elizabeth, it's ultimately up to the governor of each state to determine who gets the first doses of the vaccine. Now we know that Co Governor Kate Brown is holding a press conference tomorrow where we expect to hear more about the state's distribution plans. But one thing we do know is that here in Oregon, frontline workers are at the front of the line. It's also important to mention that even um, even after the vaccine is uh, disseminated into the community that there will be um, continuing surveillance and observation of side effects and efficacy. In a virtual meeting this week, Carrie Beck with Washington County Public Health presented the county's vaccine strategy. Vaccine distribution will be broken down into three phases. The first, phase 1A and 1B, includes people paid and unpaid who serve in healthcare settings and have direct or indirect exposure to patients. In that group, there are about 350,000. Um, healthcare workers in Oregon. Phase 1A also includes people living or working at long term care facilities. We found out the federal government has a partnership with pharmacy giants CVS and Walgreens to administer the vaccine at those facilities and will be doing so here in Oregon. We do know that 100% of our skilled nursing facilities in Oregon enrolled in this program with pharmacies. Beck says people included in phase 1B will likely receive their vaccine at a hospital. Phase 1B will be other essential workers and those including teachers, food and agriculture, police, etc. And then also those who are at risk for severe illness from the disease and those who are 65 and older. The county will enter phase two and three when a large number of doses become available, but no one can say for certain when that will be. However, if an OHA prediction is accurate, we could all have access to a vaccine by this spring. Oregon Health Authority has said that they do believe they will have enough vaccination for everyone in Oregon to receive it by late spring. OK, so Washington County Public Health says they will work with county and city emergency managers to find locations across the county to serve as places to distribute the vaccine. Now, they're said that they are all already working with OHSU to possibly turn the Hillsborough drive in testing site into a place where you could receive a vaccine. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Yeah, and that's interesting there if that happens, Jenny, as it already is a place where people can get tested, too. And that one in Hillsboro. Jenny, thank you. Our